there's a fellow who's got no arms and uh, he's gotten along in his life pretty well. Uh, one day he's uh, looking at the morning paper and he sees an ad for a bell ringer. And it's at the uh, local church. So he goes down and he talks to the priest and he's having an interview and the priest says, hmm, gosh, I don't know. Usually pulling the rope to ring the bell requires someone with arms. But the guy says, oh, I can do it. Uh, uh, let me show you. It's easy. So both of them go up to the belfry and the guy with no arms looks at it. It's one of those great big bells, one of those great big uh, ten-footers and it's hanging there. So he looks out all around, walks back about ten feet and goes running up and he jumps, leaps in the air, and throws his body and his face against the bell. And it starts to swing, and it starts to ring. So he gets down, and he goes back again another ten feet, and he times out the swing, and takes another run, and swing, and smashes his face against the bell again. And it starts to continue to ring. So he does it one more time. Goes back again, and he times out the swing, takes a big running leap, throws his whole body and his face against the bell. And it rings again. It keeps ringing, and the priest is going there. Hmm, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. I'll have to think about it, though. So, as he's leaving, um, the guy with no arms says goodbye, and he hopes he's going to get a call. And the priest is just watching him leave, and he's quite impressed. And a nun comes up behind him and says, uh, Who is that fellow? He looks kind of familiar. And the priest says, oh, I didn't get his name, but... His face sure rings a bell.